Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my vlog channel. Today we are doing freezer breakfast ideas. So I have four things on the menu. I don't think I'll actually get through all of them because now I'm thinking I'm going to leave pancakes for last. So let me show you what I have. I have sausage, sausage, egg, and cheese burritos, egg, veggie, meat, and cheese little pops which I'll show you here in a little while what I'm going to use for them and then I also have muffins and pancakes but the muffins I've been wanting to make for a while pancakes I actually have one bag of frozen pancakes that I bought two shopping trips ago so I still have a little bit of that so that's going to be the last thing on my menu today so if I get to it great if I don't get to it not a big deal so let me show you what I'm going to use to create these freezer breakfast ideas today. So eggs, I probably will end up cooking the entire three dozen of eggs. These are just regular large eggs that we got at the store a few weeks ago. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to use for my sausage breakfast burritos. I have 10 tortillas, so, and these are a little bit smaller than regular burrito size, but bigger than regular tortillas you can see here. So I'm only going to be making 10 of these. These are just really for like the girls in the morning, mainly Emmy. She's kind of the only one that eats breakfast here, so 10 of them will be fine. And I'm figuring about two eggs per burrito. So that'll be 20 eggs. I'll have 16 left, one for each of my little pops. We'll see how that goes. I have some spinach for the little pops, the sausage for the breakfast burritos, milk to go with my muffins. Now you can definitely do these from scratch. Uh, I just happen to have these in the in the um, pantry and I want to go ahead and use them and all they take is milk. So I have a chocolate chip and a wild berry. I am going to be putting some craisins on top of these and some chocolate chips on top of these. I have some bacon to go in my egg pops, some cheese to go in the burritos and the egg pops, and some Nestle semi-sweet morsels to go on top of this and I just need to grab the craisins. I also have bowls of course, some liners. I have a small, this is where the egg pops are going to go, a mini muffin tin and then a larger muffin tin for my actual muffins. So I think I'm going to start with the muffins since those are the only things that are going to be going into the oven. Everything else is on the stove top. So I'm going to start with these, get them all prepared, and then I will start scrambling up my eggs and browning my sausage. Okay, these are by far the most simple <laughs> muffins in the world. Like I said, you can definitely make these, you know, by hand or from scratch. I am not, so... I'm just going to take my little half a cup of milk and mix these up and pour them into their respective containers and then I'm going to take some craisins and top them on top of it. Okay, so I didn't have quite as much of the chocolate chip mix as I did the other one. I don't know why. I think maybe because the muffin tins over here are a little bit bigger. But I'm just sprinkling some chocolate chips on top. And yeah, so I'm not getting a lot. Next time I know if I buy this muffin mix, I'll buy two of each. I only have, let's see, 8, 12, 14 muffins. But that's okay because she could have two a day and that's an entire week. Okay, I have all three dozen of my eggs in here. Whoa, that could have been tragic. I'm just going to add a little bit of whole milk just to stretch them a little further, make them a little more fluffy. I'm also going to add in my seasoning. So I'm just adding in some salt and pepper. And then I will add in a little bit of garlic. And I'm gonna make them all right now. I'm going to pour out my little egg poppers and then 
I'm going to scramble up the rest of them. Meanwhile, while I'm waiting for all of that to cook up, I am going to start browning up my sausage. And I'm just using the mild Jimmy Dean sausage. And this stuff cooks up enough, or has enough of its own oil. I usually don't add anything to the pan. Just add it to the pan and brown that baby up. There's my muffins, they're ready to go in. So I'm doing two pounds of the regular mild Jimmy Dean sausage. You could use spicy if you have it. You could use um, sausage patties. I mean, you could use whatever you want. I just find that this works the best for us. I'm just going to brown it up and crumble it, make it into little tiny crumbles so it's easy to pour into the burrito. Okay, my big muffins are in the oven. So I wanna get this prepped because these are going to have to go into the oven. I'm just going to spray my mini. You could totally use liners if you want, but I don't have any mini liners, so I'm just spraying with some cooking spray. Okay then, I have my eggs all beat up in here. And what I'm gonna do before I transfer my eggs to this to have easel, easily, to where I'm easily able to pour, I'm gonna take some cut spinach and I'm going to put a little bit at the bottom of each of them. And then I was going to brown up some and crumble some bacon, but I'm actually just going to use my bacon crumbles from Costco. You can use any kind of bacon bits. These are just really good on salads and anything. I'm going to put some spinach at the bottom of each one of these, pour an egg into each one, and then on top I'm going to put some bacon crumbles and some shredded cheese. And I think those would be good because you could have like easily probably four of these for breakfast with some fruit and it would be good. So I'm gonna do that. I'll speed through it and show you guys. Okay, all my spinach is in. I just have a tiny little layer at the bottom. And all of them, I'm going to get rid of my whisk here. I'm trying to minimize as many dishes as I can. And I'm just going to pour in my eggs just to make it easier on me. This is much easier to control than the big old bowl. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm just filling these up and clearly this is going to make a mess, but that's okay. Filling them up with as many eggs, like that one has a whole egg in it. Perfect timing because our sausage is just about done and the oven just beeped for our muffins. So I'm gonna get those out of the oven, let them cool, and I'm going to reset the oven down to, I believe 350, I'll double check that for the egg poppers. Okay, I set my oven for 350. Now I'm going to sprinkle on some bacon bits on top of, just a little bit on top of each, and some cheese. And again, you could actually go through and like mix this up, which I may do, I'll see how it looks in the end. But just a little bit of bacon to go right on top. They're tiny, so I really don't feel like you need more than like a teaspoon of bacon, maybe not even that much for one. Here's what they look like. I may regret not cleaning up these edges at some point after the baking process but you know what right now I'm lazy and I really don't care and we're gonna pop them in the oven for eight to ten minutes and see how they come out okay my sausage is done I was going to use two separate containers to cook my sausage and my eggs but then I thought you know what this will give the eggs some extra flavor 
and why. Why waste an entire another pan when I can just cook my sausage, which is what I just did. Looks scrumptious. Now I'm going to throw my what's left of my eggs, which is, I don't even know how many, probably, probably at least 20. I'm gonna throw my eggs in here and start cooking that up. And once I'm done scrambling, I will throw it back in a bowl and we'll start an assembly line for my burritos. Okay, these are done. I have an internal temperature of 200 some odd degrees. Hopefully you guys can see that, 199. So they're done. And <laughs> I don't think it'll be that bad. I think everything will come off. They look really good. They all look really good. So as soon as I'm gonna let these cool down, I'm gonna finish cooking my eggs over there and then I will pack everything up and show you guys what I got. Okay, I have my setup here. I have my sausage, I have my eggs, my cheese, and my tortillas. And I have, instead of uh, sandwich bags, I have meat paper. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like this. I just wanna use it up this meat paper. So I'm going to take a spoonful of eggs because I don't know how much um, I'm going to need. A couple spoonfuls of eggs to put in this tortilla. Yeah, I think that'll do. Three spoonfuls of eggs and a couple spoonfuls of sausage. Maybe one and a half. That looks good. And a little bit of cheese. And then I am going to fold this over Fold the other side over and roll it and hope nothing comes out. There we go. And I think this will be a great size for her because she, the last time we made them with the burrito size, it was a little too much. So I think this will be a good size. And then the meat paper will hold everything in. I'm going to do it the exact same way. Roll this baby over like a burrito, and boom, I will put it in my freezer Ziploc, and I'm hoping, I have 10 tortillas, so I'm hoping to get 10 of these, and if I have any extra, I will, I don't really know what here, we'll figure it out, and we're done. Okay guys, this is what I got for my freezer meals. I went ahead and took the egg poppers out of the little tins. They turned out fantastic. They actually slipped right out. They look great. They smell delicious. So there are 48 of those. So I think probably three of them to a meal, maybe even four with a little bit of fruit on the side. That is awesome. That is four, uh, 12 meals at four of these. Each meal I'll kind of have to play around with it. It has a little bit of extra protein, <laughs> extra calcium, um, and some green leafy spinach in there. So that's awesome. And then I have my muffins here. How many of those did I say that I made? Three, seven, 11, 14. And then I have 10 
of my sausage egg and cheese burritos. I'm very proud of those look and smell amazing as well. I have a little bit of egg that I probably could have made. I uh, could have put some sausage and egg, I mean sausage and cheese in here and I could have made a breakfast bowl, but honestly I'll probably have this for breakfast tomorrow so I'm not going to freeze it. And then I have a good amount of sausage left. So again, I can use that for breakfast over the next few days. But that is my freezer meal. I don't think right now, it's been about an hour and a half, so I don't think right now I'm going to make pancakes. I think this is plenty to get us through the next, probably even a month, <laughs> you know? I mean, because if she had one of those every single day, that's two weeks of school, and then the other two weeks with these things, I think we can get through a month of breakfasts with these things alone and so I'll make pancakes at a at another date but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this freezer meal make with me <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments down below some of the freezer meals that you guys make I would love to see them thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one